back to my channel and thanks so much for spending part of your day with me. If you are new here, my name is Amber Michonne and this is Michonne's DIY Journey. I do weekly DIY videos working through my DIY home decor and hopefully I can inspire you with some of the projects and crafts that you like to do. Make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it so you don't miss an upload. In today's video, I am actually going to be sharing with you another fall decor DIY. I've been a little tardy on uploading some of my videos. I just had my second sweet baby boy and I'm so excited and over the moon happy with him. So that's why I've been just really tardy and late with uploading more of my DIY videos. I have about three more fall decor DIYs that I want to share with you all. Then I'm going to move into some quick Halloween decor. Um, it'll probably just be maybe like two and a couple of decorate with me's, maybe some hauls or something. But because I have this new baby boy, I'm also going to be incorporating some fun motherhood videos as well as the differences between my first pregnancy, my second pregnancy, and how this one is going overall. I feel like you guys have been on this DIY journey with me. I want to take you on my life journey as well and just bring you in to my home just a little bit and share some of the things that I've been going through with being a newborn mama. I have a three-year-old son, if you do know, if you don't, he's three, his name is Caleb. So I'm pretty far removed from the newborn stage. So getting back into it with less patience, <laughs> being older now, uh, yeah, it's been a journey and it's been fun, yeah. <laughs> In today's video, I actually have a trash to treasure fall decor project. And I actually picked up all of these items that I am kind of sprucing up from the Goodwill. And I'm super excited to share this with you all. I've done one trash to treasure before. Um, and I've just been really shy on like nervous on doing it again because some of the stuff in my Goodwill is really nice and I don't want to like redo it. And it looks nice just to put it, clean it up and then put it in my house. But this one I felt really inspired to create something new and fresh and vibrant and colorful so i really hope that you guys enjoy it so let's go ahead and get into this video and i will see you guys real soon so the first item that i picked up from the goodwill is going to be this flower pot um it's kind of cute but not really <laughs> i'm just going to go ahead and take out the front piece it's actually a, a concrete or clay or something so i'm just going to remove that using some pliers and unscrew those uh, wires and then i'm just going to use the crate part as well as the pot the gray pot that was inside of it i went ahead and removed some of that glue that was stuck on there and then cleaned off the plain turn just a little bit and then what I'm gonna do is just take my black sharpie that I got from Dollar Tree and just gonna write pumpkin patch on here with an arrow pointing one direction you can totally write whatever you want on here but I kind of wanted to make this look like um, a batch of pumpkins um, going into the direction of where the pumpkin patch might be I just thought it would be really cute and fun and then I just went ahead and colored in my arrow with the same black marker you can totally do this different colors if you want but because I have these DIY stickers from Dollar Tree I decided to paint them these two colors from Walmart um, they're apple barrel paint one is harvest orange and the other one is a Tuscan red so I painted those and just let that sit aside to dry and then I'm gonna fill my flower crate um some natural raffia and a piece of this floral foam that i already had on hand and i'm just going to kind of fill it up because i want it to cover up the holes to where you would see the uh, floral foam in between uh, the crate and then with those pumpkins with now that they're dry I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue them onto the front um, where it says patch because um, I didn't draw patch or write patch large enough and I just felt that it needed some more then I'm going to take these decorative picks that I picked up from the Dollar Tree they are the glitter orange or orange glitter uh, pumpkins I thought they were really cute and gave this just a little bit more pizzazz <laughs> You can totally mute this down with some neutral colors or just natural, you know, pumpkin colors or just place some of the larger pumpkins that Dollar Tree has. You will probably be able to fit maybe two, possibly three on the inside. And this is how it turned out. I absolutely love it. It was so easy to do. And I hope you do it too. 
For the next uh, DIY, I'm just gonna go ahead and take that planter vase and just spruce it up a bit. I'm using some of this Appleboro paint from Walmart. This is the antique white and just kind of shrieking it along the um, the plant turn. Not any rhyme or reason. I used the paintbrush at first and I decided to use a makeup sponge just to give it a little bit more definition and a little bit more, uh, a sh more streaks. Then I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of the floral foam inside of there and take these hydrangeas that I picked up from Dollar Tree and just place them in side of that floral foam you can definitely use any other flowers that you want these are the ones that i had on hand and i love the fall colors um, because i'm not going just for the natural colors but i'm going with pops of colors in the reds and pinks and just some vibrant colors um, that i like and then i went ahead and took some more of that natural raffia and I just went ahead and placed it inside to hide all of the gaps that were in there to make this a little fuller and then once I was done and satisfied with the amount of raffia I had on the inside, I went ahead and went around to cut off the excess that was kind of sticking out that I couldn't, you know, kind of stick in there. So you can do this part. You can skip this part. It's totally up to you how you want to do it. But this is how this turned out. And I absolutely love it. Just with a little bit of paint and some nice dollar florals, you have a really cute transformation. Next up, I am using this wicker basket that I got from the Goodwill. It was $1.59. Then I'm taking some of this floral that I actually picked up from Big Lots. It was on sale. It was $3, but it was half off, so it was $1.50 for each um, each floral bunch and I bought I think it was four of them and then what I'm doing is just taking them off of all of the stems I'm not cutting anything off I'm just pulling them off they came off with so much ease and then I'm just going to start hot gluing them down to this wicker basket I'm giving it a little bit more definition a little bit more pop um, I didn't really have a rhyme or reason in regards to the colors that I was going for and putting on here, but I just kind of started to, I just kind of started to have some kind of order that I was going for. And then I decided to take some of the greenery that was on these uh, floral bouquets and place them at the bottom underneath the floral picks and then start to put the flowers, the actual like rose flowers or yeah, the rose petal flowers in the center to make it look like this wicker basket was just a beautiful garden. And that's kind of what I was going for and allowing it to be able to stand on the table or even just hang up on the wall. And then I'm just repeating this step over and over to make it sy symmetrical on the right side, the left side, and then the middle is just going to have a little bit different colors. Like I said, the colors that I'm going for in my foyer for fall is are these bright colors, greens, pinks, reds, a little bit of oranges. Um, so that's why I decided to put all of the colors that I am, uh, that my theme is going for, or that I'm going for is in regards to my theme um, on this basket. And I absolutely love how it came out. Once I have all my flowers on this basket, then I'm gonna go ahead and take this harvest sign um, that I got from Dollar Tree. It's in a pack of three, it has welcome, harvest, and thankful. And I'm gonna paint it the apple barrel um, acrylic paint from Walmart this is the Tuscan red and it's so cute I absolutely love this color mainly because it works so well contrasting off of the basket as well as the floral colors that are on the basket it's red but it kind of gives it off like this dark pinkish color or like this magenta color and it's it's absolutely just so pretty to me I'm gonna let that set aside to dry and then I'm gonna take my Waverly chalk paint and truffle and start dry brushing on my basket. I wanted to give this a little bit more of a rustic farmhouse look to it. So I bought some new paint brushes. I'll show those off a little later in another video. Um, now that my craft supplies are kind of um, expanding and I'm getting a little bit more comfortable and better with them. So I, um, 
have been trying to really just practice my dry brushing um, on different uh, textures and different items and I love the way that this came out I'm still getting used to how much to put on there and what to you know kind of drench off or whatnot but all I did was just dry brush on the corners pretty much everywhere where it's exposed and that brown wicker color um, because I just it needed a little bit more just that muted brown color just was not or that muted tan color just didn't work for me so putting a little bit on that just elevated it even more and then now that my harvest sign is completely dry I'm going to go ahead and glue that to the top and this is how it turned out I absolutely love it it's so cute it's in my foyer table right when you come in my house so I absolutely love it I know I keep saying I absolutely love it but I literally love how these all turned out Well, dolls, that's all I have for you today. I really hope you enjoyed this fall trash to treasure decor project. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. All right, dolls, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.